We're here at Lake Opiango at Algonquin Outfitters. We are just about to rent our canoe and, and load go in the water taxi. And go in the water taxi. We're so excited. <laughs> I don't know what color our canoe is. Liz, are you excited for the canoe trip? Yeah, what are you looking forward to? The water taxi. M? Uh, the water taxi. The water taxi. <laughs> There's our canoe all for the week, all loaded up on the water taxi. Girls are excited. Corey. What are you looking forward to? The fire tower. The fire tower trail? We did not pack late for this trip. <laughs> uh, it's turning any uh, uh, feet count backwards. There's a $50 fee to go back for a lost hat. Uh, good, good for me, not for you. We took the water taxi um, from Opiongo and got dropped off at the dock at Peru and we are taking the cart path so that divides up into two. There's, I think this one was a 175 meter, meter cart path and then we do this short paddle and then I think it's 995 is the next um, cart path. So we're off to a great start, it's a beautiful morning, super excited. We're just going back to uh, get the rest of our gear. We did not travel lightly on this trip, which is fine. It's a September trip. We want to be warm and cozy um, and have, you know, lots of good good snacks to eat. So we're double, por double portaging, um, but we really just only have this, this one portage, so it's fine. It was chilly this morning, rained overnight, but the sun is coming out now and it's absolutely beautiful. Here they come. <laughs> Keep going. Look, it's Mr. Canoe Head. So we are hiking the cart path, the 995 meter cart path from Lake Opiongo to Peru. Um, we're double portaging, so we're just enjoying a beautiful stroll through the woods to go back and get the rest of our gear. This is a nice wide trail, it's a cart path. Parts of it are, you know, have some roots or some rocks, but uh, you know, as far as portages go, this is quite nice. So we just put in on Prue Lake. Some of our dancers over there, sitting on the log actually. I'm just getting the map out so I can follow along with Corey. And it's turned into a beautiful day, so I'm going to get my sunglasses out as well. Beautiful September day for a paddle here on Prue Lake. We rented a canoe from Algonquin Outfitters again for this trip. 18.5 feet uh, swift cruiser. And so far so good. It's it's great. It's paddling well. We've got lots of room for all our gear. Looking forward to a great trip. Well, there's the loon over there, guys. what our campsite's gonna look like. I'm not sure. Yeah, I have no idea. Yep. So we're currently paddling.
paddling across Crew Lake. Um, we're gonna head uh, sort of in that up, up north on Crew, closer to the Crow River, and hopefully try to find one of those campsites for the night. There's a bald eagle right up at the top of that tree there. Little tiny beach. Yeah. So we're just approaching what we think will be our home for the night here on Crew Lake. We're gonna scramble up that little cliff and check out this campsite. Your box is on a slant. <laughs> That's fine. What else did you guys find? Uh, this. Tiny, tiny hide. A tiny hide. Very cool. Oh yeah. Put you could totally put a tent here. Look, Look beautiful. Sure. This is our home for the night on Prue Lake. And some very kind soul has left all this firewood. It's fantastic. Corey's in the hammock, dinner's cooking over there. There are these sort of log benches slash tables that we're making use of. We got our tent there. It's cool in the breeze, but it's really quite warm in the sun. So the girls are playing down on the beach area. And this is the view from our site. Prue Lake. We had an awesome first day and the cool September nights allowed us to have a great sleep. frog and the campsite, we decided to paddle across this narrow section of Crew Lake to check out a marshy area. My husband and I had, for the first time, mixed up our paddles. Paddling didn't quite feel right with me using his long paddle. That's what I was thinking. A little marshy area over there. Bye, campsite! <laughs> what a beautiful morning. This is like a tamarack wetland. Do you guys see these trees in front of us here? They're like coniferous trees but they like actually lose their needles in the winter so in a month or so they're going to turn bright yellow and then the needles will fall off we were so thankful that the common loons were still plentiful on this september trip and we had a great time watching them and hearing them call. Done. 
Yeah, one dove. There it goes. How's it going, guys? Good. So we're just at the north end of Crew Lake here, and we're just about to enter the Crow River. And then we're gonna paddle up the Crow River, which we hear is quite beautiful, um, into Little Crow Lake for the night. all sort of migrate a little bit south, right? Northern blue jays will come where we live and <laughs> they certainly are boisterous. That log looks like an alligator. Uh -oh. Chomp chomp. <laughs> I always love when you're paddling through a river and the long grasses look like hair under the water. Some of the trees are starting to change. So we're just looking for a site here on Little Crow. This one has awesome rocks that we could sit on. So we're gonna we're gonna scramble up there and check out this site. Yep. Yep. We're here on Little Crow Lake. Um, we are on the first of the three sites, so I guess the, the furthest south um, of the three sites. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite campsites I think that I've ever stayed on. So we've got our tent set up here, our Eureka El Capitan 4. It's quite bright. It's beautiful out right now. Um, but if you can see it, the fire pit is here and it's set up uh, against this giant boulder, which is super cool. Girls are just finishing up their dinner over here. Um, someone has set up sort of a kitchen area over here. Let's see if we can get it from the back. We're never sure how we feel about these. They're so nice to have, um, but it's definitely, you know, not part of the natural environment, so. Kind of mixed feelings about that. Uh, I think Corey's just grabbing some more water. We've got our new food barrel there. We purchased a, a 60 liter for this trip because we just had so much food for the four of us. <laughs> this site has an amazing view. Oh, it's so beautiful. We're only here for a night, but I feel like we can stay all week. <laughs> got our hammock set up there, got a clothesline set up here, dry out some things, and then, well I'm like, I have several favorites on this site, you know, the fire pit with the giant boulder in the background, the view, those are all favorites as well, but Look at these rocks. We're facing west so we get the afternoon and evening sun. We can just, we went for a swim. Can't complain about the September weather so far. We went for a swim and then just, you know, dried off and enjoyed the, the sun on these rocks. Oh, Corey's grabbed some more water for our Katadin gravity filter. What do you think of this campsite? It's nice, it's great. There's our canoe that we've rented from Algonquin Outfitters. 
This site's got some pretty sizable cedar trees, white cedar trees. It's got lots of red pine, um, spruce trees, hemlock. And then there's a hill behind the site uh, that goes up and then there's some hardwoods up there. The sugar maples are just starting to, some of them are just starting to change color. So yeah, if you're ever traveling through Little Crow, this is fantastic. Beautiful sight. What do you think guys? Are we doing another September swim? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> It is. It's not, it's not fall yet. We saw some little fishies. Yeah. They're kind of the color of the rock, the wa underwater rock. Oh, yeah. You can kind of see them, but their fins, their fins are very, very, very small. Oh, okay. They're just little tiny fish. Yeah. All right. How's the water? Crazy. How's the water, Liz? <laughs> Day three, we paddled from Little Crow to Big Crow Lake, set up camp, and explored the trail up to an old fire tower. We're here on Big Crow Lake. We're here for two nights. The wind is picking up, um, and we're super happy to have this site for the night as it's quite sheltered. Um, Big Crow Lake, at least when we paddled in this morning, is looking a bit busy. I think most of the sites are taken um, and we paddled past this one and a nice gentleman from Montreal was just packing up and um, let us pull in and so we took this site. We're here for two nights so I think it might storm tonight and maybe be cloudy tomorrow. It's There's some white caps starting out there on the lake um, so we're super happy to have a nice sheltered site. So we're on day three in the back country, plus our long drive and then car camping in Canis Bay. And the girls have been excellent about playing in nature, making up their own games, playing together, exploring. Mommy gives us new toys. So I broke out the new toys. <laughs> I found them. The arm is going in the arm. Yeah, I found this set at the consignment store. I think they're calico critters. They're super cute. And we have these great benches at this site, so. It's a tail, it's like the guy did the... that. Ooh, do you guys hear the thunder in the distance there? The tails are like the pipe cleaner. So it's about 6.40 in the evening. It just got really dark. Um, thunder's been rumbling in the distance, I feel like for a couple, yeah, for a couple hours, but now it's starting to get louder. Um, Corey's gone to hang up the food barrel. We've tidied up the campsite a little bit more. And I guess we're just waiting for the storm. We have a, a nice sheltered site here tonight on Big Crow. So we'll just stay safe and wait it out. for watching. Please subscribe to follow us in part two of our September canoe trip. We climb up the trail to an old fire tower and search for an old growth forest. Happy camping!